What's going on everybody? Welcome to Gmod's World. And right here we're gonna be taking on a bum that runs Jumbo. Now if you don't know what Jumbo is, it's pretty much goal line, but you can put receivers in there. Uh, over like the earlier years of Madden, they had similar formations, but it was never really nothing that people really ran like that. Um, as far as Jumbo being in Madden 18, uh, from what I've heard from people that have played it uh, during EA Play, they didn't see it. So I don't know if they've taken it out of the game. Like a lot of formations sometimes they just take out the game because it's just stupid. Like Jumbo was not really, the reason that I knew that Jumbo was garbage was because a lot of dudes didn't really use it in like the, um, you know, the tournaments with the competitive Madden. Usually it's sort of like this, like you remember uh, in 16, you know, problem right went all the way to the finals running the fullback dive because that was a play where there was just no gap control. There was no gap assignments in Madden 16. You could just run fullback dive and think it was sweet. Obviously he lost in the finals uh, to Stiff. Uh, because he came out and he had to pass at some point and um, Stiff had that uh, the vicious a gap or whatever that was going on or just coming in uncontrollably but that's neither here nor there the bottom line is like um, if you play this formation a decent amount of time you'll understand that it's just specific things that you have to cover you know what I'm saying like the run out of it is very very tough but there's defenses that specifically cover those routes. Like right here, I'm just gonna get dotted. See this catch right here, I didn't see that since Madden 16, so I just wanted to kill myself after that happened. But, um, you know, it happens, man, it happens. And then this guy right here, he was so frustrated with himself that he's gonna go ahead and just, you know, kick this wide left because, you know, that that's just karma, bro. Like you getting catches like that, but then people worry about the swerve. It's very, very difficult to understand why people rage and go crazy about certain things. And I understand, I can understand like dudes that don't use their, um, their corners and stuff like that and don't really realize how to stop things and they want to cry like baby back businesses because that's what they've always done. You know what I'm saying? But as far as user control with the swerve and everything like that, obviously that's been confirmed that it's out of Madden 18 as well. But there's a lot of other things that people run that is not going to be in Madden 18 also. Like there's so many bums running this jumbo. So what are you, you okay, all of a sudden, you know, you're going to just start running other things and then it's um, specific plays like the stretches and, the, and um, you know, all those other type of dumbass plays that were in the game where you could just get like a thousand rush yards a game and stuff like that. But people don't complain about those things because they, that that's considered part of the game. Um, but when you don't got user and you can't lock up with the swerve, automatically it's like, oh, bro, you swerve. Like, listen, guys, it doesn't really matter. You got people have to realize something. Swerving was on the biggest stage this year, which is why EA Sports had to attack it. Voltarax went to the tournament and was just doing whatever he wanted, and people had to realize, like, all right, maybe we shouldn't have this going on. But there was also a lot of other things and catches and stuff like that that should also be addressed that I don't think will be addressed that'll also still be in Madden 18. So regardless of what you like and what you don't like, there are always going to be things that, you know, that vary. But that doesn't mean that you can't adjust because obviously... The bunch formation, which is what Skimbo ran all year, that was pretty difficult to stop, which is why he won the ultimate tournament. Now he, oh, okay, pick me up real quick. Do my mom's at the mouth too. He could have easily, problem right could have probably won that game because he was going OP with the, you know, the kick returns and all that stuff. But just to let you understand, there's a lot of things within the game that's worse than swerving. There's certain routes that you just can't stop. And people need to understand that in order for the game to be quote unquote competitive, like this guy, why is he celebrating? Why did he, he's down by eight? Why wouldn't he just make sure he get into the end zone? Probably because he knew he was gonna run a toss right here and just do me dirty in the mouth regardless. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense right there. Uh, so yeah, that's why he wanted to disrespect me. But like I said, regardless, if you're a guy that runs jumbo, you know what I'm saying? You're probably garbage. That's the first thing. You're probably, you're probably gonna get swerved if I see you in the streets, but that's neither here nor there though. I'm just letting you guys understand that people, it, you have to adjust every year of Madden. The one thing I can give them Madden 16, right? Um, I don't know if you guys have ever, ever heard of D Jones. He was a guy that just, you know, he manned everybody up, did all kind of craziness, and was sacking you without rushing anybody. Madden 16 was a total nightmare on, M uh, on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger in the G-string. And every time I played it, I wanted to just do bodily harm to myself. It was a very, very awful game. Um, typically, you couldn't really play one-on-one -on -one coverage or anything like that. Very, very horrible game. Madden 17 sucks also, but you were able to play one-on-one -on -one coverage. Um, you know, for the most part, it's still going to be plays that you really can't stop. Early in the year, the runs were, the runs were OP. Stretch uh, was OP. They patched it. Now Power O towards the end of the year is OP. Regardless of what it is, there's always going to be issues within the game. But the one thing that you guys have to understand is you have to adjust. I'm gonna rage regardless. Even if the game is perfect, you're gonna rage. That's just because you play Madden. I've never played Madden and not rage. That, that's a fun fact. Like, even if I'm winning, I'm still raging because you always want more. It's sort of like a female trait, you know what I'm saying? Females, like, what did Prince say? Maybe you just like my mother. Bruh, 
She's never satisfied. It's a woman's thing, but everybody has it. Like when you love something like the way I grew up playing Madden, I grew up, you know what I'm saying? Putting it, putting in work with it as a young dude, you know, projects, all that stuff like that. So it was always something to what I wanted to, you know, be great at. So if I didn't get something perfect, I was raging. And I played dudes that were like really, really good. that did the same thing. You know, dudes that blew me out. They were like, yo, F, I should have had that pass even though I beat you by 60. You're like, what the fuck? Like, but that's just a part of perfection. Like if you don't, if you don't wanna, you don't strive to be perfect, why are you playing? Why do you do anything, man? Whatever you do in life, if you don't strive to be perfect at it, why do you do it? And that's what I'm saying. That's where the, the rage comes in. You know what I'm saying? Regardless, Michael Jordan, he used to rage at his performances and he was doing whatever he wanted. Oh yeah, tip drill. You know what I'm saying? Because you just want to do something. If you made that one mistake, you know what I'm saying? But it's not always hostile and stuff like that. It's just the fact that over the years, Madden has become, you know, the last couple of years, maybe three years. I'm going back to Madden 15 because of that play action reach around play. You know, like it's just started to do a lot of crazy things to people's mentality. And it's it's been a little bit more um, difficult to play for the older veterans with things that go wrong within the game. But, you know, Jumbo's out in Madden 18. This dude right here couldn't just concede. He had to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like these dudes, these Jumbo dudes, bro, like just concede the game. You got to really do all that to disconnect, but we still got the win. Doesn't really matter. I think I've only got DC glitch maybe uh, like 20 times over the entire year of playing over 500 games. So that's pretty good for me. The Cooper guide, I guess, is not working as much. I'll see you guys and girls later. One love.